That sounds delicious. Whatever you're munching on, Joe. Extra toasty Cheez-Its. Mmm. Extra toasty Cheez-It? I'll fucking hit you. <laughs> I will fucking <laughs> hit you. So I uh bought an outfit today. <clears throat> Here we go again. I bought my chat outfit. Uh, a Brad oh, outfit. Oh uh, are, you gonna, no, are, you about no. to, are you about to bring up cargo shorts? Because I wasn't here for that. I am not wearing cargo shorts, but they are khaki shorts. Let's just give a round of applause for Joe for not wearing <laughs> cargo, not shorts. Wearing cargo shorts. I want everybody to know that I've been at least three weeks sober of cargo shorts. I'm proud of you, Joe. We're proud, Joe. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh... Yeah, no, it's been good, you know, and uh, I uh, I bought the outfit because I'm going to a wedding tomorrow to fi help film it, so not to attend, you know, just to help film. Is it is it a social distancing wedding? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's uh, a like a like a they were going to, and now they are not. Well, <laughs> Tristan, now, just 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 hear me out. Just hear me out. You're gonna set Tristan off now. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Just hear me out, Joe. Okay. Now, I know this this is crazy. I know this is so crazy for me to say. Huh? But wear a mask. Well, no shit. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, but I can't tell. It's because you're such a good actor. I should have been like. I should have been Thank like. You. I should have been like. So was I. I'm not wearing a fucking mask. <laughs> Fuck you. <A> fucking mask. <laughs> Um, Here we go again with the fucking mask, Tristan. What am I, a you little what? girl? It's... What am I, a little girl? I'm gonna leave the house wearing a mask? No, I think what it is. I think it is social distance, but it was originally going to be like a full social distance. It was gonna be a car wedding. Oh. And they asked ooh. the. Hang on, they asked the original photographer. So it was my girlfriend's friend, who has been living in New Zealand for a couple years. Very nice. Uh, and was gonna come back and do this wedding. Got stuck oh. there because of the COVID. Uh, yeah. The bride and her had agreed. They're like, okay, well, you know, if it's a social, you know, what happens if we end up doing the cars? Because obviously, like, we're not going to need as much from the photographer. And she said, you know what? Uh, here's a much cheaper rate if you do the social distance car thing. Uh, otherwise, if it's standard, we'll go with this price. And, the, you know, bride was like, oh, my God, thank you. Like, that's so great. I really appreciate it. They never signed a contract, and so when Rachel inherited this job, because her friend's in New Zealand again, she's like, hey, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, just want to clarify the pay, and the bride was like, oh, no, we agreed on this cheaper one. Mm -hmm. And so now they're getting paid less to do a full-fledged uh... wedding. It's so bullshit. But anyway, I dressed up like I own a yacht and invest way more money in stocks <laughs> than I do. But... She was like, I could just buy this place. <laughs> That's what oh, I'm going to do tomorrow. Joe's going to so gonna <laughs> walk in looking like he owns the establishment. I'm going to walk in and be like, look at all these poor people in one area. <laughs> I am definitely going to wear my mask. You and know they're who like, doesn't matter? Poor people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to to like like I'm gonna walk up to older women. I'm gonna be like, you wanna go on my yacht? I've got a yacht. Like to, I have it. I have it parked outside. Actually, <laughs> so I was about to say I've got my yacht. Yacht parked outside. I'm gonna start whispering to people during the wedding. Have you seen my portfolio? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say things are looking up. Have you seen my portfolio? <laughs> Aggressively checks Robinhood app. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so. Uh, I don't have any topics because I had a job interview today that went horrible. Oh. oh. Uh huh. Yep. My. Uh, I I'm gonna let you finish that, but I bet you I have a better, a, like a worse interview story. I'm too. sure you do. So mine Period. wasn't an interview. It was I had to give video answers to things and then do a coding problem, but the environment in which I was coding was horrible. And so I wasn't able to yes. finish because of the environment. And so, so I... So that wasn't even like an interview. He was just like 
So yeah, it's like a, a test. It's a yeah, it's a it's yeah. How they do it is they do like the technical round first, and then they interview Ooh. the person, mm. and then that move on. Because which Saucy. I personally like, but I don't like that there is no one there in front of me that I can be like, hey, what am I yeah. supposed to do with this environment right now? Like, it was just really buggy and. It was like I think the versions were different than what I'm used to. So, anyway, it it sucked, and uh, you know I love not doing well on interviews during uh you know like did you have a depression. did you have a mask on while you were uh, at this interview? I was <laughs> at home. Oh, okay, good. It'd be a little so weird if I did. Question: Are you gonna you gonna just beat around the bush all day? So yeah, I wore my I wore my clown mask and <laughs> I feel that I'm vigorously mask. I yeah I vigorously beat off afterwards yeah so oh, man yeah tell I'm, me about that um ever <laughs> since i met you tristan i'm really attracted to failure so after today it was just like <laughs> beat one out real quick and like it felt right better i was like oh thank god and then yeah otherwise it was it was like between texting you or putting on my clown mask and masturbating uh, and one of those was less pathetic elijah what right was that was a good one that was a good one. I'm sorry, Tristan. I love you. I really do. I'm sorry. No. You made the right choice. <laughs> you made the right choice. Were you wearing your clown mask, too? Of course I was. I'm always... This This mask doesn't come off, too. Yeah, this, was this it? mask is... Yeah, this mask is my face. Was it, this doesn't off. change. Was it the one I got you for Labor Day? <laughs> uh, flag, flag Day. <laughs> oh, Flag Day. You know that's oh. my favorite mask. Anyway... Uh, anyway, Elijah, before I, I know. third wheel anymore. I wear it. I wear it quite often. Oh, okay. We're done. We're done. We're done. Sorry, listeners. Uh, Elijah, you have a story. I, uh, uh, oh yeah, about my my shitty job interview. One mm-hmm. time, yeah. I had a job interview. I won't say the company, but the manager of the company uh, <laughs> texted my entire interview. I think I told I think I told you about this, Tristan. I think uh, you did. This sounds familiar. Yeah. I, I went to this job interview and he would ask me the question and then it was like a it was not like a closed ended question it was right. re- you know involved like a story that you'd have mm. to tell so I'd be talking to him and telling him this story immediately after he asked the question he would make 2 seconds of eye contact and then he would just start texting hell yeah and it was the most uncomfortable you and should you should definitely say uh what the place was I should is it I world won't. is it worldwide Yes. Can we guess? Uh, probably. Well, I already know. Yeah, Tristan already knows. I already know. Can, oh, can I, I guess? I told him when I went to the interview. Can we I do think. twenty questions? Yeah, but that takes a while. Mm. Fast food or not fast shitty, food? Not fast food. This was retail. This was when I wasn't depressed. I guess technically retail. Technically retail. Car dealership. No. I'm fucking. It was more close. in the elect. It was more in the electronics section. AT and T. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> wow, I uh, that was a good guess, Joe. If that were it, I would have been real impressive. I guess AT and T stands for asshole texting <laughs> and heard anyway uh <laughs> do you have topics this week boys i you're gonna have to carry me so so, so i had a topic okay uh, i thought i thought that since our listeners love conspiracy theories so much we can talk about something that's pretty close to a conspiracy okay uh so i recently i started watching the outsider on hbo i don't know if you guys have seen that or not nope um, no really good show but it mentioned uh the Roanoke colony. Oh, I love Roanoke. Oh. And it immediately started getting me thinking about the unsolved mysteries of the world. Just okay. the sheer anomalies that there's no explanation for. So I looked some up. Hmm. And there's some that striked my fancy that I would like to see uh, what you guys think. I I also had conspiracy theories this week. Thanks for oh, stealing man. my thunder. Play... Well, this, is, this isn't conspiracy theories. This is just some weird shit. That Elijah, no really Elijah, what? please, please stroke my fancy. I mean, strike All my right, fancy. Let me, sh- let me, sh- let me sh- stroke your fancy. You can uh. stroke it, too. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... 
this uh, this article I found is from 2016, so I don't know. Uh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> that was probably the last good year. That's a Why that's, that's a big fact. Summer of 2016. Because you know, summer 2016 was lit. It was it was a lit year. That was just a good year. Anyway, so uh, this is about the mysterious ghost boats. Have you guys heard about that? No. Please, please tell us about the mysterious there ghost are these boats. Ghost boats that have been washing up on shores in Japan, and these Ooh. ghost boats. These ghost boats are old, uh, rusty boats filled with decaying bodies that just wash up on shore, and they can't find out why. So here's the here's a little segment. It says nearly a dozen boats carrying deco- uh, decomposing bodies were found off the country's northwestern coast in just one month. The Coast Guard said in December, the first boat was found in October, and in November, officials discovered 10 bodies in three boats uh, at Ishikawa. Yeah. Later, they were found, later they found another boat with six skulls and a body that was nearly intact. Several signs point to North Korea. Most of the boats carried equipment and signs written in Korea, Korean, and one... uh, one was had okay that was a typo there one had a scrap of cloth <clears throat> resembling a torn bit of the north korean flag however authorities have not been able to confirm their origin or why the people on board perished more than 30 boats were found in 2015 and there were 65 the year before and 80 in 2013 that's a lot of boats all right yeah, like a lot of boats i'm telling you what it was all right hit me with it mm, it was korea they uh they don't have a good relationship, okay? I'm just gonna say it right so, right now. So, so do they just so they just put their dead on these boats. Well, if it was North Korea, hell yeah. Like if it was North Korea, assassinated the like people, the country, executed them. Like the the country's version of like putting a dead cat in the mailbox. They just send <laughs> people on ships yeah. over to the next country. Yep. I could see that. Out of sight, out of mind, baby. Honestly, it's kind of weird though because they're all the pictures of these boats are all like old rickety boats. So it's kind of like they're just throwing out their trash and they're sending it to Japan. It's like these old, shitty, rusty boats and they just throw dead people on them. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just... Imagine 80. 80 boats in one year. We need to get you super baked people. and then I'm just going to be like, imagine 80 boats, Elijah. <laughs> 80 boats. <laughs> Sick. Those, Fucking those what? Shirts. That's like more than 60, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Turn into Shaggy from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Zoinks! Zoinks, Scoob! It's like 80 boats! <laughs> it's like 80 boats, Scoob! <laughs> Zoinks! Uh, uh, another one that I saw okay. was the catastrophic collapse <laughs> uh, that killed 120,000 antelopes in just a few days. What? Uh, so there's a endangered species or endangered breed, I guess, of antelope. Uh, in May of 2016, there was a widespread die-off of critically endangered uh, Sega antelope throughout central Kazakhstan. Sega! <laughs> the United States, or the United Nations, I'm sorry, reported that more than 120... So that's more than a third of the global population died from mid-May through the end of the month. It's the largest die-off event of any species ever recorded. That's hot. Uh, scientists... Huh. While scientists have not yet pinpointed the cause of the death, the preliminary analysis showed that a combination of environmental... Yeah, they, they weren't wearing their masks or yeah, social distancing. They didn't, yeah, I mean, 120,000, there's no way they could have been six feet apart, you know? They all went to the Lake of the Ozarks when they shouldn't have from, a, <laughs> from Memorial Day weekend. Well, uh, you're kind of right. It says that two pathogens, one known as... Oh, I'm going to butcher these. Pastrella and the other as Clostridia... Uh, contributed to the you rapid and widespread die-off. Yeah, I definitely did. Uh, however, this discovery fails to solve the mystery. One possible suspect in the die-off event is rocket fuel from decades of launches from facilities in central mm-hmm. Kazakhstan. Currently, uh, currently, Russia launches crewed and uncrewed missions to the International Space Station. Uh, from I guess it's I guess it's near there. It's near that area. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I don't know. The pictures are pretty wild, though. It's just like fields full of dead antelope. So, I guess hmm. what they're saying is there's like a couple of diseases that have been targeting these like populations of antelope. 
Which I wonder if like that would make sense though, because it was like it could have been like a a disease that they develop after being exposed to like this rocket fuel radiation and shit. Rocket fuel radiation. We're sounding like Infowars now. Infowars. Sorry, I had to fix my my uh. Alex Jones. Tin cap. My... Yeah. It wasn't a bad Alex Jones. I'm, I'm Alex Jones. Okay, Al- <laughs> what's going on, Alex Jones? Bad, hey, Alex Jones is here. It's me, Alex Jones. Hey, maybe you can talk to our friend Chris <laughs> Oh, oh um... <laughs> I, I got this. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Im- improv off. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Tristan. Uh, I, I actually got him right here for me. Right here with me. Right here. Chris, you here? Uh, what up, you know? <laughs> we gonna talk about some conspiracy theories, you know? Was that it? That was beautiful. Yeah, I think Alan, I think Alex Jones is, is... I think he left. We gotta get him to talk! <laughs> we gotta get him to talk! <laughs> Fucking hate Crystal, yeah. Oh, Leah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Real just, quick, the, just mentioning that last episode, uh, uh, real quick, I want to oh, apologize yeah. to our Swedish listeners. I oh, offended yeah. some people last week. Oh, yeah, you're racist. Uh, I forgot. Oh, my I, God. I, yeah, I fucked up. So I was talking about the Black Peter uh, incident with uh, some of the, the racist Christmas uh, traditions mm-hmm. from what I said. I said Sweden, which that is incorrect. I want to tell everyone that i was wrong it's not sweden it's the netherlands that has been having (laughs) this uh this uh i don't know i guess it's like a war there's so apparently so i was reading a little bit more because i wanted to not be stupid Mm -hmm. and uh apparently it's like a split divide like it's turned into some it's turned into kind of like a political debate there there's half the people that don't want it to be a tradition anymore but then there's other halves who've been fighting for it like the confederate flag and right dying on that hill all day saying that they want to dress up in blackface to celebrate santa claus so uh everything i said was factual except for the actual location is i sound smart but i'm not yep he said it with confidence we all believed it i did i was very confident i could have made you guys believe that sweden was just racist all around and so since he's since elijah's gonna confess uh racism i'm gonna confess my uh i guess uh uh how would i say this i side uh last week i i i accidentally sided uh with a possible abuser uh i i made it sound at the time i had seen ansel elgort trending it was regarding uh, a, a an issue where an unknown, unnamed student, or or former possibly former student, was possibly classmates with Ansel and said he may have made a joke using the N word. Um, mm. There was no factual basis or anything for it, and it was pretty quickly thrown out. But as it turns out. He trended oh. pretty much immediately after that for accusations of uh, sexual assault. Yeah, oh boy. Now he's this since denied those claims and all that, and so I don't want to. I'm not gonna, you know, say I I believe one side or the other. Obviously, you know, all of us here at Three Broke Dudes side with anybody who is a victim of sexual assault. Um, mm-hmm. Of course. You know, and then I think that's any any instance of abuse is near and dear to all three of our hearts, um, and so hearts and thoughts and prayers or whatever go out to the victims um but uh, i wanted to fact check myself uh, i wasn't like Ansel yeah, so only trending for this like, why why is he trending it's nothing you know i didn't want to make it yeah. sound like we were uh condoning anything or ignoring anything so i sure. had to fact check myself there um fact checking is very important especially yeah. when we just live in such a information era Mm -hmm. you know you're never going to get all the facts never going to hear everything it's i've noticed that in just the last few weeks i a lot of times i'll see something on twitter and i'm like i have to say something about this and i don't realize that i don't know shit you know like i really don't know enough to speak on anything right away blow up tana mongo what blow up tana mongo or mojo or whatever the fuck (laughs) Blow, (laughs) blow her up put her on blast Please, put her on blast. <laughs> I'm I'm so serious too. Do it. I want. I would. I would 
love the clickbait. Is, this, is that the is that the tweet <laughs> that I made at like oh, two you, in the morning? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I was I was very heated. Mm-hmm. I don't even know her name very well. It, it's Mo Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo. Why is it spelt so stupid? Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's why I didn't know it. It's God, spelled get so a, stupid. Anyway, get a fucking different name. Yeah. Anyway, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fucking. All right, Tristan. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I I I blew up on on this this girl on Twitter because she she changed her Twitter handle to Black Lives Matter, and a video resurfaced of her saying the n-word on multiple occasions that's what fucked me up it was a compilation video yeah <laughs> it was like a, it was like a, <laughs> like a greatest highlight. can i ask yeah, you a question a serious video. question elijah yes were you looking up tana mojo compilation for a reason or <laughs> <laughs> no i was not i actually didn't even know who she was until the the video of her being exposed i follow someone who retweeted the video of, of her saying the ah. n-word and something about the way that she said it, the confidence that she had. Oh, for sure, for sure. The, hate, the hateful, yeah. ignorant shit that she was saying. It really just made my blood boil. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking look at her page. And then I went on her page and I was greeted with this big Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Idubs did a, did a thing on her at Content Cop a while ago did regarding he? the N-word. Now he used it to... Yeah, uh, he used it Isn't to justify him being able to say it. Well, I mean, it it is also one of those we got to give context things. He's yeah. the literal only reason he was saying it, at least at that time, was to show the hypocrisy and okay, sure, she's able to say it and mean it, and it's right. fine. Like so, he he made good points as to the hypocrisy, but I think he's continued use and is just like. Yeah, eh, and maybe that's a you know, there are people. I am not one of them. There are people. <laughs> I have to preface. I want to preface. There are people though, like that think that they can say any word that they, they want that's offensive if they don't mean it offensive. If they don't have the context. Yes. Louis can you? C.K. and George Carlin and all these these comedians have had that kind of like debate debate and i i'm for it to a degree because i'm like you know it is just a word and words don't have power unless it has them but right those are also words with meaning you know what i'm saying like they're also exactly. words that were only made for that it's not like you know it's not like you know i had a word and it meant one thing right and then some asshole started using it the wrong way and made it offensive right and i mean there are some words like that that are unaccepted today and that's just you know, I'm not saying that you should ever use words regardless of what they used to mean just because of what they are now. And I think it's one of those things, especially the N word is just it's never meant anything else. It's never been a right this word is okay to say right here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's never had that kind of Right. It it, it slowly it, and it's always been a hateful word. So when I I, I love Louis C. K. and I love George Carlin. I love comedians like that that are not afraid to go to that length and talk about those 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 situations, those discussions that no one else wants to have. Right. But I also I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's my like just personal bias about it. Yeah. Personal, you know. No, I agree with feeling it. about it. But I agree. I think that uh, the the debate was a little bit different even a year ago than it is today. I think that now that we're in such a position in the last couple of months where we've just shined so much of a light on so many injustices and have really tried to make hopefully the final, you know, long stride in right. in full equality, um, I think that I think that nobody should use it. I think that, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, you can only say it if you're black. And I think that in all honesty – Eliminate the word entirely because we're at a point I, now where we all need to step up and have that. And the only reason yeah. I say that is that is how we begin erasing it from history. As long yeah. as there are, are incredible songs by incredible artists that have those words, it's just a fact that that people will hear it, right? And so yeah. mm-hmm. I think I, that if, I think that in order, if we really want to get rid of it entirely, you know, yeah, I, I agree. I I I'm one of those people where. 
I believe no one should say it, but right. it is what it is kind of thing. Right. You know, you really, you can't hold... Tristan can say certain... it, you know. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> nope. Oh, boy, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> like my end card finally came in the mail, Mom. I think that if it comes in the mail, it's not real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the whitest thing I've ever heard. But I, I got it in the mail. I got it in the post. It's right here. I think... I think that no one should say it, but I also believe it is what it is. You know, right. you can't have a group of people that you've oppressed with a word for so long, and then when they fight to have it back and take back ownership of their own slur, mm -hmm. then it's like, well, I don't think anyone should say it, you know? Well, 100%. I, that's, but... that's my argument for it, is it's like you can't, you can't put all the venom and hatred into a word, and then when the oppressed people try to take it back, now it's not okay. Now no one can say it. I, oh, of course. I think it is what it is, and I think that, uh, you know, obviously black people can say it, and I think they should take that word back, and I think once they do have their word back, uh, I think they'll in I think they'll find the, the right time to let it die. And I yes, it but in, in hu being human, there as long as there are people that hate, there will be people that misuse a word that they've heard. If they yeah, know I mean, it can that's... cause offense, that's going to happen. So if if if, if in order no to what, get so. that, well, well, yes, but if in order to get a word back, you need to be the you know black people need to be the only people saying it. That's never going to happen because there are still hateful people. That's yeah, why you're I... always going to have fucking Taylor Pengu or whoever her name is <laughs> spitting the sp spitting right. the word like Rick Ross. <laughs> I don't know, it man. Is, I think everybody it, should it just. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. Like I said, I, I think I think it's it's a word that's belonged to a, a people in a hateful way, and now that they have right. it back, I think it's it should be that way. I right. think that it's not hard to not say it. It's not like it just fucking slips out while you're fucking red light. Gonna, you know? Well, Tristan just does. Just For Tristan, that. it does. It's <laughs> you know, you know, Tristan was in that cod lobby, and man, it just. Oh, that is not true. Oh. Tristan has never said it. I want to clarify. I was, say, I, I was gonna say I don't like where this is going. You I know, I want to defend all. his honor to you, all. You know who else had never said it? We thought Howard Stern, and then there was that video. <laughs> so, fuck that guy. Um, just saying. So, <laughs> go on a rant about Howard Stern. What a stupid piece of shit he is. Well, he's not stupid. I think, I think it's just the. I think, I think, think it's just spinoff segment. I think we should have a spinoff segment where we just let Tristan just. Curse the fuck out of anyone that he uh, wants on a podcast. Fuck uh, <laughs> this fuck, fuck Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think Howard Stern is stupid. I mean, fucking uh, creepy piece of shit. Creepy, <laughs> creepy. Fuck yes, guy. unfunny. Sure, you can come up with many things that he is, but stupid isn't one of them. Since what he did got him to where he is. That's all I'm no, saying. Well. We should be looking well, more he, at what he did. Also, fucked him over. Oh, now it did. But what I'm saying is, we you, should be looking at the. You reach, I think if you reach the peak of success and fuck it up just as fast, I think you should be able to be stupid. But I'm saying we should be looking yeah. at the industry that 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 promoted these things. The reason that they're getting that there's tons of celebrities, quote unquote, getting caught, in instances like this, Jimmy Kimmel, people on SNL, like, yeah, it's because yeah. there was an industry that allowed and enabled that. And so yeah. now, since the general public's and view and opinion, yeah, 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 since the culture changed so abruptly that we stood and said no, the industry can't change that fast. So all of a sudden, these people are left going, uh, well, we can't do that now. We're we're we're, we're woke too, and I don't think. And truth be told, do I think Howard Stern is hugely racist? He's not. I don't. Maybe they would say bigoted. Not hugely racist. No, but what I'm saying, I'm not going to say bigoted. He's kind of racist. Just a bit. But but he even he has to acknowledge he, because there are people that say oh he's not racist. It was for the jokes. Blah blah blah. Even he has to acknowledge that that he found that to be humorous. He he yeah. he, at least demeaned an entire race to the point where he found the color of their skin humorous. Yeah. And that's, that's a good way to put it. So, so that's the education part. It's because because he can say, well, I don't, I you know, I've given equal opportunity to people that I know. I, I've he may have all of these things that yes, aren't racist things that he does, or in fact, anti-racist things that he does. But still, there is a part in his mind that at one point f found the color of someone's skin to be humorous, and in that he should be able to learn and grow and say, this is you know, what's yeah. going on. Now that being yeah. said, he's also like fucking how old is he? Like eighty. <clears throat> He's yeah, he's got to be yeah, in the seventies. That's 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 really. I'm not gonna pat you know anyone on the back just for mm -hmm. not being a piece of shit, but to have that way of life instilled in you for so many years, right? And then, you know, 
come out of it. It's, it's, I don't know. I have a hard time commemorating <clears throat> people for shit like that. Cause I'm like, right. it's just you being a decent human being, but oh. I can at least respect the fact of, of people trying to be better, you know? Yeah, and, and I've I, just never, I've just never been a fan of Howard Stern, <laughs> and that was, and that was years of rage that just came out yeah. on that little rant I had. I like how we're on our like hundred listener podcast, and we're like Howard Stern sucks, and yeah, he's Howard Stern sucks. on his he million of, he's millions of, of shit. right, he's on yeah. his millions of listener. Maybe that's it, Tristan. Maybe we need you to do a skit in blackface, and that's how we get big. <laughs> that's how we blow up, and, and, and then sure it work. We'll we'll already have a speech typed out, an apology speech. We'll Hell yeah! It. We'll yeah, just release yeah. it right after, and people won't even know. I thought yeah. about that. I thought about. You what do you thought about doing that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought about how do we get big, and I thought the easiest way for people to blow up or at least get the most eyes is controversy. What if yeah. we said not not obviously not racist shit or shit like pro sexual abuse, but I'm saying what if we like started a beef. With random fo- like people on TikTok. Sort of beef. Yes. Yeah. Oh, speaking of people on TikTok, have you seen that new fucking uh, that like MD show or whatever that that uh, was made with just a bunch of TikTok fans or TikTok uh, celebrities? I guess you mm-hmm. want to call them that. It's like a <laughs> it's like a really shitty high school musical and Grey's Anatomy Grey's Anatomy crossover using it, TikTok stars. Hell so no. They're they're dancing and singing surgeons. So, the, so the high school musical, as far as like the drama aspect, you mm-hmm. know, the shitty the shitty love triangle. I, uh, you, know, you said shitty, no and I think you meant like pinnacle cinema, but like I was gonna say, I I you, I'll let it slide. I think you meant award winning. Is that what I is that what I meant? Yeah, that is exactly <laughs> yeah. what you meant. Sorry, I miss I misspoke. No, that you're was fucking Zac Efron's big break. Watch your Fiji water, fucker. This is <laughs> not just yeah, saying. Let me just wash that. Let me just wash that sentiment down with some. Some Fiji water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we love Fiji water. Bet you call it Fiji cheese water. it. Fuck the mm-hmm. Sani. Fuck the Sani water. Well, fuck Emo's pizza. So. Yeah, I agree uh, you with know that. what? I, fuck I, I. I. I will. I will take that because I hate the Sani more than I love Emo's. So I'll. I'll happily agree with you. He's like, that. you can have this one. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can have that. Fuck Emo's, but fuck the Sani too. Fuck that shit right along with it. Okay, so you were saying something about something about drama, award-winning love triangle. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so it's a. There's really no way for me to explain to you what it is. You'd have to watch it. It is called uh, MD. No. Uh, uh, let me. This let is me great look at dead it. air. Um, <laughs> while we're <laughs> while we're waiting for him to. It's called, uh, it's called TikTok Doctor. No. Is that really what it's called? Yep. Probably sounds about right. I, I didn't even I didn't even know what it was called because I didn't think the name could possibly be that shitty. <laughs> um. What? So yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start beef with someone. I'd say let's do it. I, some people yeah, tell start, us start beef with Tessa Monkey Nuts or whatever her name is. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, if Monkey you Nuts. don't think the title of this podcast isn't gonna be Tana Mongu and. <laughs> What did I call her? <laughs> Taylor Pengu. Taylor Taylor Peepaw or whatever you said. No, Pengu, that's what you said. You know what, Elijah? I think it's a little racist that you're misquoting a white woman's name, okay? Yeah. I'm Have sorry. you ever heard of she, whiter name? She clearly she clearly is trying to make a change in her life. She's made Fuck a black her. lives yeah, matter. It's handle. in her handle. Yeah. <laughs> Give no, her some respect. No amount of money donated to an organization changes who you are as a person so if you look inward and you see that there's a problem fix it inwardly and have a problem give alms in private that's what the bible says and you that's know how why. tristan loves his bible i love the bible I that's, read why. Every night. that's the that's... new bit is tristan loves the bible <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck I'm on board. Chapter. oh man he just starts quoting things like he's nick oh my god oh man all right. So, uh, speaking of that, Tristan, you said you had some yeah. conspiracy theories. We're, we're I running. Do. I want to say we're 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 hitting about the end. So how many you got? Because I want to say we need at least two. I have two. Oh my That's god! Beautiful. That's beautiful. Perfect. All right, hit us with it. I promised you two since I didn't have any last week. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, man, he totally could have skated by and just not done. Yeah, it. he definitely Forgot could have. about that mm-hmm. conversation. Good old, good old Tristy Dangle. He's all right, here for the, he's old... here for the listeners. Right. Tristy Daddy Dangle. Tristy right, Daddy Dangle. Let's hear it. 
All right. So this one I pulled up, which I thought was pretty interesting, was Pixar movies are all part of one universe. I don't. I I yeah. feel like I I like it's I've heard true. that before. Yeah, I feel like that would be true. Yeah, yeah. The Pixar universe is that what they're a part of? Anyway, wait, what? <laughs> if even if you don't wait, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, the dead air is so incredible. <laughs> you don't find in the dark corners <laughs> of the web where conspiracies lie. You've probably heard this wild Pixar theory. Humor website Cracked, shout out Cracked, was the first to host the idea that all Pixar movies exist in the same universe. That idea really caught on with John Negroni, who fleshed out the theory with an incredibly detailed post on his website. Here's some quick facts for the too long didn't it read crowd so the first one is is that the movie brave is the first and last film in the epic timeline the animals in the film have been bewitched to have human-like behavior uh -huh. which explains why the rat from ratatouille can cook the animals in the pixar Fuck. universe are evolving God. that brings us to charlie Muntz, the villain in up learns about the evolved animals, inspiring him to create a collar that translates dogs' thoughts. Oh, my God. Syndrome, the evil villain from The Incredibles, huh? developed the artificial intelligence that would evolve years later to give inan inanimate objects sentience. That's why the toys in Toy, toy Story are alive. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Monsters, well. Inc. is the most futuristic film in the series. But how do we get back to Brave? Boo, the human child from Monsters, Inc. is actually a time traveler, uh, which makes her, dot, 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 the witch from Brave who started all of this. No. So why, wait, I thought, so wait, is the is the door in Monsters, Inc., is that the time traveling aspect? Or is 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 Boo actually just, she grows up to be like some She's not a, and no. time traveling? She's not never happens in the movie, it's not canon. It doesn't say. That's that's the only place where it falls apart for me. Otherwise, yep. bad. <laughs> Likelihood, I'd give it a like a like a six point nine out of ten. I'll, I wonder I'll what it. Alex Jones gives this. Yeah, let's ask oh, I him. I believe it. No, oh, oh, I mean that's if Alex crazy. Jones believes it. I had it on Infowars. 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 <laughs> Infowars. 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 What does uh? What do you think Chris Jelia says about it? Uh, Chris, what do you think about it? I like that there's a little girl at the end, you know? <laughs> little girls at the end, I like them, you know? Oh. Th I sneak them out of the door like a monster, you know? Something you and I have in common, Chris. Jesus That's fuck. That's why we're friends. Oh, my God. All right. All right, and then... Oh, what's, what's the second one? What's the second one? The second one is an abandoned ghost town in New Jersey became one of the Internet's earliest conspiracy theories when people theorized the town was the site of a group that practiced interdimensional travel. Hmm. Hard to believe that there's any interdimensional travel in a cesspool like New Jersey. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. I forgot he's from New well, York, so yeah, New York. there here it is again. Ong's Hat is the abandoned town of the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Yep. The town dates from the 17th and 18th centuries, but the population dwindled dramatically in the 20th century, ultimately making it a ghost town. Some believe the town became populated again a few decades later. In the 1980s, a pamphlet was published saying Ong's Hat was home to a group of people that practiced interdimensional travel. The pamphlet claimed that the group started when two scientists from Prin Princeton University – moved into the abandoned town and eventually made the egg, which allowed people to travel to alternate universes. According to the pamphlet, the machine transported the entire group to a different dimension to escape police investigation. The theory spread throughout the internet. Although some people have come forward to claim that they were part of this group of, at Ong's Hat, there is no evidence that this group existed. Hmm. I think... A heavy so, amount of drug use was involved. Oh, for I mean, it sure. is New Jersey. And um, the part where it falls apart for me is people moved back to New Jersey. They repopulated New Jersey. Yeah. No Wait, one, so are they saying that, no they one saying willingly the goes to New Jersey. <laughs> However, you go to New Jersey, if you are like going to Philadelphia flip side or something. Flip side. First of all, all right, I'm going to have to say it now. You don't shit on Philly right now, okay? 
just gonna throw that out there right now. I know you shut the fuck up. All right, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> You can say how you can say how good your New York fucking pizza is, but a Philly cheesesteak will beat your ass nine times out of ten. We're gonna go down to the Wawa and I'm gonna kick your ass. You understand me right now? Anyway, second of all, Philly sucks. The part that the part the look at on the flip side, asshole. Okay, people were fucking trying to get into a people were trying to get into an alternate dimension. The motivator would be to get out of New Jersey. Uh, you know. Maybe it's an alternate reality where they moved, you know, anywhere but New Jersey. That's an a good point. An alternate re reality where New Jersey is like the the best city in the world. You know, I think, there, yeah, get to that reality. Yeah, and I, I think that it's not too far off since it's almost as good as uh, New York. <sighs> like so close. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like so close to being as good as New York, Tristan. I'm sorry. We're still talking about New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to New Jersey? It's just almost as good as so, New York. Hang, hang on, hang on. Before, before the full fledged turf war goes out. Oh boy. Where's the? I need some clarification. Did the group just disappear? Can they not find the group that nah. the pamphlet was made for? They can't find them. I don't know. Did what you're did... supposed to know? <laughs> you're supposed to have kind of your thing. Up. Yeah. Well, I, I, I already closed it out on my phone. Oh, was it? Going God. Back. I'll bet ten dollars he found it on Snapchat. <laughs> on no, one of those, uh, on, a... on one of those like clickbait, yeah, mystery Daily stories. Mail. Maybe yeah. I did. The Snapchat news. Yep. Oh, we gotta love it. Or TikTok. Or the yeah, or TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. Um, Oof. Tristan. Yeah. The users love when you sing us. Uh, when you sing us on out. I'm not gonna sing today. Why? Because I, I just have one thing I want to ask all the listeners to do. Okay. Wear a fucking mask. The, I That's mean, all I have to say. If you follow Tristan on Twitter, which you should. What's that? Do you hear that, Elijah? He should. Uh... All Wait, I tweet about hearing? is do you hear the, a mask do you hear the and listeners? asking for Sabrina Carpenter's hand in marriage. <laughs> is that who that was? I, ho I hope it she was. sees this, bro. I, I don't think she, I, I haven't heard from her. <laughs> don't worry. Your time will come. The level of you being a, a simp slash incel is incredible on Twitter. It's <laughs> so good, and replying to your tweets gives me so much pleasure. <laughs> like, I bought that outfit earlier from Target. Target. Oh, shut the fuck up. It's Target. Hey, the listener said that they Target. might wear a mask, but you have to sing first. Target. T-A-R-G-E-T. <laughs> Let's go show up at Target. Shut up! Target. <laughs> What would you know? You're just from New York. All right. Uh, see you guys.